Hi guys, I'm getting ready to do um, a quick reading for the elements. So we're starting with air today. I picked air because we're the sun just went into Gemini. Um, our moon's in Taurus right now. We are going to have a full moon, um, or a new moon, excuse me, in Gemini on Monday, at least here in my parts. So you can check on where you live to see how that is. But I got a whole bunch of oracles we're going to pull from. Um, for air signs, um, I am going to do the bowl today with everybody. Um, we're just going to... Um... Think about our intention. All right, so if you guys like that bowl, I, I like it. it. I usually do it before I do the readings, but I decided to do it. Because um, these may be shorter readings since I'm doing the whole elements. I'm um, crunched up into, you know, I'm doing just air, fire, earth. Um, so they might be shorter, but they might be longer. But it's kind of nice to get that in. I always like to take a couple deep breaths before we start. Um, all right. So we're going to start with an animal spirit card. My air signs, the air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. An animal spirit message do you guys need to see during this time. I had a really nice vacation, you guys. Um, took a little break, but it was nice. All right. So let's see your animal message. It is the electric eel, and it was reversed. Um, it says bring your ideas to life. There could be an idea you have that you're not acting on or um, something like that where you're not acting on an idea or a thought or something you want to do that you're just not doing maybe. Um, you could be hesitating on it. Um, we will... Uh, oh, sorry guys, I just got... A little card topple here. Okay. Electric ill spirit. I may have to change that card holder. Okay. All right. So let's read that uh, message there for you guys. Something you wanted to do or something. Let's see what the protection message is since it did come out reversed. Ideas need to percolate, as they rarely download in detailed form. Have you too quickly dismi dismissed an epiphany because you couldn't see where it might lead you? Have you rushed to follow the muse without taking time to contemplate the meaning of your aha moment? <coughs> Perhaps your dream will take a different form than you first imagined, morphing into something else that is even better. Spirit's plans are often hard to discern but so much more satisfying once they have taken over from your own predetermination. Maybe your big idea is taking more time to shape than you expected. Have you considered that you are meant to learn something in the process of bringing it into being? Commit to the transformation and to learning any lessons this new venture will bring, and soon you will see that the aha was even more valuable than you realized when you first felt it electrify you. So, um, something here, um, you may have got an idea or had like an, a message or gotten some kind of, um, enlightenment or message is what I'm feeling. And maybe you dismissed it or you just didn't consider like the full message and spirits asking you to take another look at that and, um, see what that means for you. Um, that's kind of an interesting message with the electric ill spirit. So we are going to get a... One of these. Oh, 
What is this one called again? Oh, I don't remember what this deck's called, you guys. I ordered it a long time ago off Etsy. It's a very small deck, but it has like, um, oh my gosh. What is this? Um, something moon, wild moon, or the party. <laughs> Celebration, community, <coughs> excuse me, air signs. Oh, man, rotten. Okay, and I got to go in there. Jeez. Oh, yeah, that's that light in the background. Hold on, guys. See if that's any better. Oh, that is a little better. Okay. All right. Celebration, community, and friendship. To celebrate is to experience life at its fullest. Cultivate an air of celebration today. Through action or by spirit, invite others to celebrate with you and let yourself enjoy their company. Friendships make life all the more sweeter. Um, right away, I'm feeling this could have um, something to do with <clears throat> getting together with um, somebody, maybe meeting up with somebody, maybe actually throwing um, a get together or coming like maybe traveling to see somebody um, that and maybe it made you really excited and you kind of dismissed it or but it came from like out of nowhere and it's saying um, surround yourself with those friends if this idea or epiphany is something about connecting with somebody or traveling to see somebody or maybe throwing a get together or something like that that's what i'm feeling um let yourself enjoy their company all right so could be um thinking about going somewhere i'm feeling this could have been an idea about going somewhere or maybe you just um dismissed it the party electric eel the electric eel does give me those um kind of um exciting vibes like something that you were excited about or are excited about and maybe you're um it's like maybe you dismissed it because you're like oh it's going to take too much to do or too much to get there but then it's also saying the process part of the reason why you're having this idea is so that the experience of getting ready for it or saving for it or whatever it is planning for it or whatever is going to teach you something or you're going to get something from that also um service you could be how can I be of help to others? Lend a sh shoulder or a hand. You are a shining light to the people in need. You could be, have been contemplating going towards somebody. Maybe to you feel like they could use your help or your energy in some way. It doesn't mean they're in bad shape or anything, but maybe you just feel like somebody needs you right now. Or um, you just got a feeling, like a gut feeling to visit somebody or call somebody or get together or do something it feels like doing something um special and it does feel like maybe for somebody else um maybe it is um signing up for maybe some volunteer work or something like that because it's a celebration community and friendship and you're just kind of maybe dismissed it um so let's go ahead and see what this one has here I feel like you could bring um, a lot of energy to a situation or a place or something, but I feel like you don't, you have not acted on it. Um, like there's something you keep maybe putting off or not working, like not working towards because you think it's going to be like too much work or it's like out of reach. Sacred convergence. Yes. And this is about also getting together, I believe, with 
um, like soul tribe, family, friends, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and see. We are going to read that, you guys. Um, and it is um, like there's a full moon energy in the background of all these except for this one, which has a gal holding um, somebody's hand here. But you can see in the back of the electric eel, there's almost like a full moon. So maybe this um, happening around the full moon or right before the full moon. We are getting ready to go into a new moon, like I said. Um, maybe this is something to start planning during the new moon. Because I kind of, um, when I sat down to do these new, we were having a new moon on Monday. So I wanted to get some readings out. At least the elemental um, readings. And it's... Um, and then there's like a full moon in the background of this one. And there's lots of people in it. Like a get together or a gathering. Is what I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. Roaming about town, the master was holding a light saying, I am weary of the demons and the beasts. A human is what I am longing for. A human cannot be found. We have searched. What cannot be found is what I'm longing for. Although poor and needy, I will not accept small pieces of ruby. The mine of the finest rubies is what I am longing for. One hand holding a cup of wine and the other, the curls of the beloved. A dance like this in the middle of the circle is what I'm longing for. Um, it indicates a coming together of souls in alignment with a greater cause, service. So you could be even thinking about going somewhere, helping in a situation or um, volunteering for something. And there's um, a big, strong, like getting together energy here with like other people that are like minded doing something that um, can really impact and make a difference. I feel like um, not just for you and those um, friends or community that's closest to you, but also probably in service of others. Um, maybe the poor, maybe the needy, maybe you've thought about volunteering and doing something, um, for the community. And this is a really loud message saying that's a great idea. Um, don't put it off. Like there's a reason why you want to do this. And it's also along the way, there's things that, um, you learn and happen and people you meet that could very well be like, um, a bigger part of your life um which is really nice um this is a greater cause is both personal and impersonal there is an aspect of joining together for common purpose although that pur purpose may not be immediately obvious at a level of day-to-day -day consciousness this could be getting together with family or friends and like there's a personal reason why you're being guided to do this and an impersonal one um, that has nothing to do with necessarily you directly, but probably somebody else that maybe you will be of service to, or you may be not even realizing how much of an impact you can make by um, either traveling towards this or um, coming together with a group or a, a situation to, to do something. Um, this, this feels like a very collaborative um, energy coming together with a group or a family or friends or something and doing something um i don't know what um exactly it could be a multitude of things but um it says that common soul purpose may be to lift each other into greater love and self-belief to shed fear and open the heart filling each individual soul with more holy fire for its personal passionate purpose you'll have a sense when this process is happening there will be a coming together of you with like-minded souls who hail from all walks of life, and yet together, through some invisible genius, you will help each other. And this could even be um, switching jobs or something like that, you guys. But um, I am feeling like, with this being just general air sign reading, this could be a multitude of things. But this is definitely doing something um, with the community, friendships, and it's going to be a cause for celebration. And you may have already had this idea or thought about just doing it, going and doing something and maybe you put it off and spirits coming in for whoever this is and saying, Hey, I see you. You thought about this. Do it. It's a, there's a lot of benefits for you and others in doing this. Um, whatever this is, traveling, switching jobs, um, 
um, donating your time, um, collaborating with other like-minded people about maybe doing something for a community or a family or a friend or um, a family member. It could be any of that, you guys. It's, um, it's I'm getting a very um, collaborative energy. That common soul purpose may be to lift each other into greater love and self-belief. You'll have a sense of when this process is happening. There will be a coming together of you with like-minded souls who hail all walks of life. And yet together through some invisible genius, you will help each other. You may simply be dancing in the same room or singing in a group, attending a class or a workshop, or just visiting the same beach or parkland. But at that moment, there will be a sense of something coherent and nourishing happening at a far greater level. Yeah, this feels very, what I call like swarmy. <laughs> okay, I personally am not like... We just went to vacation and it was a busy place and I don't like being around like big groups of people and um, I just, um, I'm not a very, like, I do what I can at work and I'm um, very like, you know, I'm friendly, I am talk to people like, but I don't really get um, too, it's, it's work, it's like, ch -ch -ch -ch. But like when you're on vacation or something like that, you kind of, um, you, you're wanting to be you, but like, you don't have like a plan. Like there's not like a plan. So you kind of just go with the flow kind of thing. And this feels like, um, like that, like maybe you had put off or are kind of stopping yourself from going somewhere. Um, maybe it's an anxiety thing. Maybe it's just, uh where you're telling yourself you don't have the the money or the means or the energy or the time or whatever it is um but it's feeling like it's saying do this um make this happen um because you're going to benefit and and if even if this is hey i want to exercise more i want to go for a walk i'm going to start um going to the gym or i'm going to start going to aa meetings or i'm going to start whatever it is you guys um that you've had a thought about doing there's something of happening in this place or this gathering um, and it could be what I feel sometimes it's like swarmy that's just like a lot of people it's not a bad thing it's just you know there's some people that love that um, but it's really hard for some others to be around all that all those energies really um, but it's really important to do that and kind of see um, you know kind of feel that connection with other people um, that, you know, you're all interested in the same things or you're all doing the same thing. You have a common goal or a common interest. Um, it's really, um, there's just something more coming out of something here that you might have put off. And something big could happen. Like if you go to this, it could be karaoke. It could be going out. It could be going to, it could be going to a casino for all I know. Um, but it feels like, um, it feels like you could end up helping somebody or you're, Maybe that's one of the reasons you want to go do this, whether this is service to yourself, service to, it could be um, the divine, it could be, you know, service to people, God, um, animals, whatever it is. Um, there's some kind of helping people or even animals or something, just kind of, some kind of something you've probably been contemplating doing or going to towards. Um to do something that's deeper to you and it has deeper meaning to you so it is personal but it's also impersonal hmm. the trickle down effect into your personal life and this is where like you could meet somebody or people that are just like your best friends for life maybe you know or like you get into something like way bigger than you thought it was going to be like oh this is just going to be like a day thing or and it turns into like um a tradition or something like that is kind of what i'm feeling um if this is coming in if this has just happened um i i'm just feeling like this is more like maybe around the full moon um you're thinking about this or you've already thought about it and maybe the time is right around the full moon this could be a get together a gathering that's what i'm feeling it could be like a family reunion or just anything you guys where you're just thinking about it and you're like mm, maybe not but think about what's telling you in the first place to go towards that or to do that you had that voice or that calling before you said no to it. So it came from somewhere. Um, and it's asking you to think about where that came from, you know, and it's probably a really heart centered place. That's like personal to you and it will help. Um, it might help, help a healing situation, healing you or another, or just helping in general. I feel like this is a good, um, energy. And I feel like it's like maybe vacation-y or like, 
um, volunteer or like like some club or some something like that. Um, getting into something that's near and dear to your heart, but yet it's not just you. There's other people that this that are doing this also. Um, yeah, it could lead to some really good stuff. Because the trickle-down effect into your personal life will be felt too. You'll have more energy after spending time with these people. Even if you don't interact very much on a personal level. Beyond being in the same space, you'll feel empowered to step forward on your path and love yourself with less conditions. You'll become freer to shed your fears, let go of relationships based in fear and judgment, and open up to those more loving, responsive, and inspiring to continue on your personal journey in increasingly profound ways. This oracle has come to you because you are part of a greater sacred convergence happening now. Perhaps you have already sensed its progression, or perhaps it will not be obvious to you. But the effect, whether obvious or subtle, will be important to your soul development and divine awakening. You are being asked to drop defenses and barriers towards groups of people that feel good for you. However, those that dampen your spirits or drag you down are to be dispensed with no matter what games of blame or manipulation they may play to keep you coming back for more. No, that shall not do for your soul growth now. Just step away. Turn towards those connections that feel nourishing to your soul. Ooh, and learn to share yourself without fear. Just be. You do not have to force the planets to spin, nor the great cycles of the soul to happen. All that is required is that you show up for what is offered to you now. Do your part. Take your steps. Dance, sing, and be. And allow the gifts of sacred connection to change your world. For this is the spiritual gift presented to you now. Perhaps you have been thinking about shedding lower vibrational connections based in the ego world of power games, sabotage, manipulation, and fear. Perhaps you have already begun this process or even shed so many you are fearing you might have over pruned to be left with nothing and no one. Do not fear, feisty angel of love. Your truth is prevailing. You cannot stay in a vibration of fear if you want to dwell in the vibration of love. Oh, that's really powerful. So there could be even something you've been putting off doing or becoming a part of because you're kind of, there could be even somebody in your life trying to keep you in this like lower vibration where it's like not really, it's all like power and ego based and you, you're you getting a calling to like move towards something that's more um, in alignment with you. And um, this is a really strong and it's like, it's, you know, I feel like it has something to do with like sharing your yourself and your story with others who are um, there to support you. But sometimes, like I said, it's like um, with that whole like swarmy thing, it's like, oh my gosh, like uh, there is like fears we need to face about getting to know new people and surrounding ourselves with strangers. And usually it's like um, we've had our trust um, or we're just afraid. We're afraid of being hurt. We're afraid of being betrayed. We're afraid of connecting. We're afraid of connection. Um, we're afraid of being around people and them filling us in a certain way or us filling them in a certain way in our judgments. And it's saying kind of let go of that and just kind of be. Be who you are. And um, especially if you've been called to a, do something or be around a certain group or something, it's saying it's, it's right for you. And you may, it may... Um, more people may drop out of your life, but you're being called to be part of something bigger that um, resonates with your spirit and also can be of service to others. It can help. Um, so that's what I'm getting from that. The oracle comes to you with guidance that the possibility for more joyful relationships and growth of love within is in your power. You can choose each day, each moment. Just make a choice. Trust yourself, your discernment and your intuition and choose. You do not owe anyone anything you don't owe this person anything by staying here not leaving not going towards where there's actual friendship and community instead of some like kind of superficial and feeling like some superficial um relationships or place you're at where you're like this isn't this isn't resonating with my spirit anymore and it maybe it hasn't for a long time and you've been thinking about this for a long time and you've been putting it up off for a long time but there's something calling you to really match get your vibrational match out of life because um it feels like whoever is listening to this or this is for isn't doing um exactly what is resonate with with them it's just kind of that's not exciting it's i've in the electric eel did come in reversed and electric eel is exciting and your ideas are being brought to life and you're getting excited about them and i feel like there's like stagnation here and you really want to do something and it's excites you but you've been putting it off or you are just maybe thinking about like the how 
too much and not the why. Um, so that's kind of the message I'm getting there, you guys. Um, repeat this law of karma. You only owe love the chance to grow. So let that be your guiding principle now as you release the old and trust that even if your garden of relationship becomes sparse for a while, you have been cutting back unhealthy plants to allow for new life to flourish. It is only a matter of timing for these for the season of new life and growth to come again. And so it shall, bringing with it sacred convergence of souls on the path of love, your soul tribe, your soul family, your new tribe of those journeying upon the path of love. That's nice. Um, I do really, really like that. So what we're going to do is we are going to, um, I'm just going to get a few cards on this. Let's see. Three cards, what this is about. is this about expression fool and the wise woman yeah i feel like um for one there's something you want to express you want to do it is part of your heart it does fill you up with passion and excitement and it does require you to take a leap of faith and trust and also um kind of be light-hearted about uh just the whole journey in general but especially like um kind of lightening the load to move forward we got the uh, eight of fire we got the um the fool and we got the wise woman which is like the hierophant um, but it's also about learning and growing and something here you've been called to or you might be being called to during this time period um, between here and the full moon is what I'm feeling. Um, it's going to call you forward to trust and take a leap of faith because there's something here growing inside of you and it's in alignment with you. And it's something you can also not only you may be wanting to even like just go back to school or do something like that. Um, it could be something like that, you guys, where it's like. But you've just, but there's definitely something you might have to, you know, you might have to dismiss people's criticisms and judgments, especially if these are people that are trying to hold, like trying to keep you where you're at. I feel like this is a movement forward and it's a strong, like it kind of feels rebellious in a way, but it's a good, it's for you. And it's because you want to learn more and it's because you have something to offer to, something to teach, something to give um, to a situation or to a group or to a community. Um the, but there's just something that's came in and I feel like it has already came in. You've already gotten the message and you felt it. You felt it deep. You felt it. It excite, excited you. And now Spirit's coming in and saying, okay, this is, uh, you're going to have to trust here. You're going to have to take a leap of faith. You're going to have to trust. And you may have to lighten up your load and not carry a whole bunch of stuff with you when you go. Like a whole bunch of baggage, mental, emotional, physical baggage. You might have to just go. And do whatever this is that is calling you. Um, because there is a lot to be learned here. And it is going to be a learning a learning experience and a growth. All these um, lights. It's like in the, the hands out, you know. And it's like, it, it's like giving and accepting this. It's spiritual, spiritual lear learning, spiritual growth um, happening through whatever this is. So we are going to... Um, Let's see, this is kind of what's going on. And then let's get what you think. One card. What are you thinking? Let's see what's kind of in your thinking. Yes, it's about a relationship or something. There's something here and maybe you've already know. Um, it's the two of love. It's the two of water. It's the two of cups. Something that's a match for you. Something that lines up with you. Something that's in alignment with you. Um, and you think it's beautiful and wonderful. And then we got the magician and making it happen on the bottom. Um, let's see what uh, the blockage is to this. Why is this being blocked? Why Are you blocking yourself or is there external um, spirit? Air signs. Why are they? Let's 
see uh, being blocked it feels like almost like something's blocking you from going towards something you love and something you want to do and something that feels in alignment with you let's see healing failure and perception yeah it's something you definitely want but i feel like um you might still be working on some healing um and you're afraid of like things not turning out things not um you might just feel really tired too i am feeling that like there's a but the perception needs to change here you need to look at this as a healing experience and a growth experience and if you're being called to do something um you, you might be looking at it like I'm going to fail or I've already failed or there's something here that just um, ain't working. Um, whatever you're look, however you're looking at the situation right now, air signs, Gemini, Aquarius and Libra. Um, the mother of perception is coming in here. How are you looking at it? Are you looking at it? Um, something needs to change about the way you're looking at this. Or maybe where you're at, or both. Like, maybe you think where you're at is, you. maybe you're feeling depleted, or you feel it's depleted, and there's something you need to give yourself to. Um, it's, I do feel like this is really doing something. You've already kind of been called to do it. Um, you'll know what this is, because it would have been a, a voice. It would have been, I don't even call it a voice. It's more like a message. It's an inner message. Um, you feel it. And you're like, oh, I got to do this. I want to do this. I got to do this. And then you're like, Oh, I will someday, but right now it's not right or whatever. And it's like something really good here that you're thinking about that just is a good match for you. Um, but the blockage here is healing the way you're looking at things. Something about failure, something about something being um, depleted or done or not, um, <clears throat> not up to the way, you know, maybe it's, maybe it's having higher, um, there's just something here about we're going to get one more card on this um, this failure card which is the seven of pentacles so it's really also about evaluating but I feel that with the perception card like it's about reevaluating the way you're looking at things and feeling about it um, there's something calling you like a destined calling and it's like soul tribe, star tribe. But it's not just tribe. So when I say that, it could be one, one relationship, one person, one place, one job. But it's in alignment with you. And it's perfect. And um, you could be pessimism. Yes, you're thinking too. This is what you need to change your perception on. It's like you've, you're trapped in your head about how this is or isn't going to work. Or if it's going to fail or... Um, or you can't uh, do it, or you can't achieve something. You know, you're telling yourself um, you're stuck, or you're telling yourself, um, I'm also feeling like um, this. So, whatever this is that's kind of keeping you stuck is a pessimistic energy. Whether this is you or the energy you're around, which is influencing you and your perception and the healing process. Um, it's like, um, I feel like it's saying thinking outside of the box right now and changing your perception about, um, where you're kind of stuck at or what isn't working, changing that perception, having a more positive attitude. If you need to get away from negative influences or attitudes, that's what you need to do. But whatever this is, um, it's calling you and it's good. And you need to take this, this leap of faith that, um, you, it looks like a, there's a lot of like, um, you could be beating yourself up. You could be holding your ground on something that just isn't working. Um, there's just a cup. There's a lot of different messages I'm getting from this, but, um, let's see what's on the bottom here. Initiation.
Mm, yeah. You're going to have to fight your fears on this one, air signs. You're going to have to fight your um, failures and your fears and your pessimism and your shadows. You're going to have to look at what's keeping you in this energy and not helping you to... Um, you've already gotten the call. You've already gotten the message. Um, now it's time to change your perception on it. This is the advice. Um, so let's go ahead and get... I got a new Oracle deck um, when we were away, and I really do um, like it. It's called... Hold on, guys. It's called the Eternal Seeker Oracle. Let's see what... Um, What'd you get? Ooh, attainment. Attaining something, making something happen. It's also a 24, you guys. So is the electric ill spirit. Bring your ideas to life. Attain them. Um, own them. Look at them. Look at this. And the perception, it's like you're bigger than this. Like you, maybe you feel like this idea is bigger than you and it's keeping you stuck. Like you're like, I can't do this. Or you're feeling very... Um, trapped or defeated about something and there's something here you need to look at like i'm feeling um like really really making something happen here we are gonna look up that card attainment um this is a new deck for me so you know i like and i like to read too but it said inspired by the tarots the world so that's completing an old cycle beginning a new cycle um it is a number 24 is for diplomacy and harmony within all relationships. Diplomacy and harmony. This could be about making something um, work that maybe feels depleted and you have to look at it differently. This could be another message, um, kind of a different message, but um, I am. And it says, upon reflecting what it took to bring you to here and now, you should find yourself filled with a profound sense of gratitude. Knowing if one million, million millisecond of one heartbeat has been other than what it is, you would not be you. Wow, that is really a big statement. And I'm going to read that again because it's perception, you know. Knowing if one millisecond of one heartbeat had been other than what it was, you would not be you. And know that you are perfect. Consider all the worlds, all the countless choices, the billions upon billions of lives in creation coming together two by two to culminate in this one perfect being, you. Besides, you have to be you. Yes, it's a dirty job, but someone has to do it and no one else is qualified. So get with the program and say thank you. You're being offered an incredible gift. The universe has been paying attention and it's your turn to grab the brass ring. Yes, it's hard to believe because of the countless times you have circled on this carousel we call life. Each revolution, you watch someone else reach out and grab what you thought should belong to you. But then, it was not the time. And by now, the reasons should be clear. At this moment, the only thing holding you back from accepting this wonderful opportunity is you. There is, there's something you are holding yourself back from. And it's a pessimistic um, idea of failing or not doing. Um, just not being able to make something grow. Not being able to um, nurture something, grow something. And that's why the perception and, the, and heal something. You, this could be about healing a family relationship, a group, a, a, a two of cups, a like a soulmate connection, or a, I don't even, you know, a marriage, a friendship, something. You know, there's something, and you're not just helping you, you're helping them too. And it's time to start a new cycle here and get excited about it, stay excited about it, and don't let the pessimistic um, idea of failure um, or depletion or even exhaustion get you. Because um, the star cards here, and this always is also like, it's like, healing energy so it's like and it's like you're being called to do this and it's going to help so that's really nice each revolution you watched um oh oh it says this is when the personal freedom you have longed desired is at hand long desired is at hand it has come at a great personal cost but you have empowered yourself and allowed your conscience to expand it and encompass a greater truth personal freedom yeah so if you are in a relationship or a group or something where they aren't allowing you to express yourself be yourself. Um, you know, it's time to let those kind of people really fall away so you can be part of people that are supportive and loving and um, nurturing towards your um, energy and your true authentic energy, not 
something you're being because it's what they want you to be. Or if you're a different way or you want to do something different, it rubs them wrong. So they um, start thinking pessimistically or calling you, um, judging you or saying you you can't do it or you already haven't done it or any kind of doubt that anybody around you is um, even expressing. Look at that. Look at that and ask yourself if this is what is in alignment with you. And if it isn't, you got the you got everything you need. You got the idea. You got all you need because you, this full energy is all you need. Is that trust and that faith and that movement forward. Even if it feels like, but you've learned a lot because, and you're going to learn a lot. This wise woman is here. Um, so you're not, you're not going into this. Um, you're not going in the, into this as weak as you feel. Um, you are actually a lot stronger and that's why the perception cards here and there is some kind of relationship or some kind of coming together maybe with yourself coming it, like there's two parts of yourself that have been in conflict about this but it sinks no longer by the full moon i feel like you're going to know exactly what you're doing and you're going to know exactly um what's being asked for for you for you to give yourself which is um you might have to be um, kind of alone, a loner for a minute um, if this means we're releasing a relationship or a group or a family or a situation that's just um, not supportive of you. Um, you might, but then in the process of going on this journey, you're going to meet people that truly are in alignment with you and that are truly, they resonate. They resonate with you. They understand you. You get them. They get you and you all help each other. This is beautiful. It has come at... A great personal cost but you have empowered yourself and allowed your consciousness to expand and encompass a greater truth having released judgments self-doubt and guilt that held you in place you are now free to move in any direction to quote the world is your oyster would be an understatement you are a part of not apart from all life and all creation you are created from stardust since that is the building block of the life of our planet so ask yourself are you less than the stars i love that are you not as worthy as the squirrels or the bears? Do you not deserve to partake in all life has to offer? The party, you guys, the community, the friendship, the celebration, living life to its fullest, letting yourself enjoy other people's company because they um, aren't um, manipulating you or holding you back or trying to snuff your, your dreams out or snuff your, your passions out, your, your expression. I am feeling that like there's something you want to do and you want to express and there might be some unsupportive energies around you and you need to step away from those people. They are not on um, your soul tribe. They are not um, in alignment with you. And that's all. That's all there is to that message. <sighs> Stop asking yourself why and instead stand tall and say why not. That's an nice because I was feeling that like you're like was asking yourself how. And I said something like you need to ask yourself why. And this is saying, don't ask yourself why. Ask yourself why not. Um, what is keeping you um, in a place where you're choosing not to um, empower yourself and go through this full process of finishing up um, a big healing and a big, um, oh, I feel like it's a huge emotional like um, <sighs> cleansing that you've been doing in the the pruning and the getting, you know, releasing stuff and just crazy, probably people, everything. Um, you know, like, gosh, I don't know if I can lose one more person or one more thing or change one more thing. I've already done so much. Start so saying, take this last step. We're at the world card here. This is the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new new cycle. And it's of one of service and it's one of service to you as you're like, this is the tool of love too. Loving yourself, being of service to yourself too. And it helps others. Um, this could be a bad relationship, but I'm really feeling like this is you growing, you growing and becoming exactly who you are. I just feel like um, there's something here just shadowy in the middle here that is blocking the way you're looking at like this healing. You could be healing up from some failures, some past failures. You could be somebody... Um, or you, or both, there's just a, a dark, pessimistic, shadowy, gray energy in the middle here. Um, that's interesting. The farthest of the reaches of the universe coalesce 
to create our, our galaxy, our solar system, our world, and all that walks upon the land, swims the seas, and flies through the air. From the brightest colors of creation, the reds, golds, greens, purples, and blues, we are gifted with emotions and feelings with which to experience the fullness of life. She watches patiently to see if you will accept her gift. The blue-green planet, held in her outstretched hands, bears the stylized image of the tree of life, showing us how to reach deep within ourselves to put down roots, reach for the heavens with our branches, bear fruit, and grow strong. She gently cradles us and our world, which glows with the light of spirit, lighting our way across the darkness of the void. Her offering is held in open hands, waiting for each of us to accept the unconditional love with which we are created. Personal freedom always comes at great personal costs. But what price do you place on sovereignty? You have arrived at a place in your life where joy, liberty, and independence are yours for the taking. Honor who and what it took to bring you here. Be grateful for all that was sacrificed for the greater good. It is your turn. If fear is, and I am feeling like fear is holding your back, so I'm going to read this message also, but it says, when the fear of failure, because we got the failure card and the pessimism, fear of failure holds you back, ask yourself why you fear success. To stay where you are now would bring stagnation, and with that, delays, pain, and suffering. So what if your plans didn't materialize? Yeah, like something didn't turn out. You need to change your um, mind about that, because something did turn out. You learned a lot from that. You grow a lot from that. And you learn what you don't want and what, what works and what doesn't work for you. Um, so what if your plans didn't materialize? Rather than quit, take stock. That is the seven of um, pentacles also, or the seven of earth here. Um, taking stock of what is holding you back. Why you have this pessimistic um, thinking going on about this, um, like following your your divine energy. Your, it's like said we were all stardust and it's like yes i that's her star that's her mother that's the the star when, when i talk about like star tribe or star you know soul tribes and stuff there's just an energy it just it doesn't have to actually be like a physical person it is we're all physical but it's the energy there's a certain um flow of different energy and this flow is that tribe and this flow is that tribe and each holds like their own like and they're alike, but they're different in their own unique way. But th they're still going the same way. It's like the same river flowing this way or the same river flowing this way. I think of a lot um, about rivers and like, you know, there's just different um, paths, you know. And your tribe or your family, your soul family would be on the, the path you're on. Um, trying to attain the things you're trying to attain. If that's spirituality this lifetime, then that's spirituality. If it's um, success and um community then it's success in a community if it's um you know there's just so many different um goals and they're deep-seated um that we all have that are very um sometimes it's just somebody might only want to like work and become like really successful in their job and um you know be really stable monetarily and all that and you may want to be like a complete gypsy and be poor and like, but that's rich to you. You know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And that is a, a message coming out here, you know. So it, it doesn't mean anybody's wrong for wanting what they want. It's just somebody may look at you and say, why would you want that when you could have this? Or why why isn't this um, what you want? Or, you know, and don't let people question what, what you feel in your heart and what you want in your heart. You don't owe anybody anything. You heard that. So if that is part of this message, um, I hope that gets to who it needs to get to. Um, rather than quit, though, take stock, gather your resources, wait for a better opportunity. This is not the end, but simply a redirection of goals. This is a reevaluation. Um, it is asking you to look at it. If you have found yourself kind of making excuses or saying, I'm not going to do that, or this is keeping me stuck, know that it's you keeping you stuck. You may have to reevaluate, rebudget, rethink. Um... But there's something that you have you know you want, and I feel like Spirit's saying, get it, but reevaluate your goals, reevaluate the way you're thinking about it, and seeing yourself in it. Um, don't put yourself in that box where it's just pessimistic and a bad attitude. Have a good attitude about it. There's been a lot of, um, you're being divinely guided um, towards something really nice, and you know, um, and you're going to be okay. We got the abundance here, the mother, you know, the... Um, empress 
So that mother energy, that nurturing energy, keep going, don't give up. Um, just reevaluate the way you're thinking about it and the way you're seeing it and the energy you're holding right now. Because I feel like it is, um, you're letting either some kind of negative thinking or negative energy get the best of you right now. Okay, um, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. That is your reading. Um, I hope it helps somebody. And as always, I appreciate, appreciate you guys um, coming, watching your videos, your likes, and your subscribes. And I hope that helps somebody. It was a really nice reading. I just feel like um, it's spirit kind of coming in and going, you're letting yourself hold you back. Reevaluate if you you already know what this is. I Like I said, it could be a multitude of things, guys, but it's a really clear message that um, it's time to start a new, new cycle and it's time to align yourself with what's right for you. That two of cups, you guys, it's there. Um, just reevaluate how you're how you're going to make this happen. Um, that's what I'm feeling. So that is your guys's message and we'll talk to you later.